Specifically in agricultural, uh, technical innovation is of importance with regard to addressing global challenges, such as population growth, climate change, and limited availability of important plant nutrients, such as phosphorus and potassium. Nanotechnology applied to agricultural production could play a fundamental role for this purpose, and research on agricultural application is in the going for large a decade by now. The application of nanomaterials in agriculture aims in particular to reduce application of plant protection products, minimize nutrients losses in fertilization, and increase yields through optima optimized nutrients management. Despite this potential advantage, the agricultural sector is still comparatively marginal and has not yet made it to the market to any large extent. Greenhouse plastics. Glass is a traditional material for greenhouses, but with advances in technology, many types of less expensive plastic greenhouse coverings are available for both commercial greenhouse operators and hobbyists. Some plastic materials are clear, allowing full sun to enter the greenhouse, while other plastics are translucent to evenly diffuse the light inside of the greenhouse. Types of greenhouse plastics Polyethylene film Polyethylene film, or PE, is the lightest option for greenhouse plastics. It's available in large rolls that you simply cut to fit onto your greenhouse's frame. Manufacturers of polyethylene film make different grades, based on the number of years you can expect it to last. One year film is the least expensive, tiniest variety, and four year film is the thickest. Ultraviolet light quickly degrades polyethylene film, so select a film with UV protection embedded in the plastic. Some polyethylene films also have chemical properties manufactured into them to reduce the amount of condensation in, on the glass. Others are able to reflect radiated heat back into the greenhouse, much like glass does. This makes the plastic film more energy efficient. Polyvinyl chloride or PVC PVC films has many of the same qualities as polyethylene film. PVC film is more expensive than PE film, but you can expect it to last up to 5 years. PVC film is available in 4 to 6 foot widths. Materials used in the manufacture of PVC film tend to act as a magnet to those particles in the air. You'll have to occasionally rinse the film if you live in an area that doesn't have frequent rain showers. PVC plastic is available with UV protection and you can find PVC that reduces condensation. Double wall plastic. It's possible to install either PE or PVC plastic film in a double layer over a greenhouse frame to make the exterior more durable. If you use a double wall of plastic film, you'll need to use a fan to blow air between the two layers to keep them from adhering to each other. Light transmission into a greenhouse through a single layer of PE or PVC is 85%. The addition of a second layer of plastic film reduced that to 77%. Polycarbonate plastic film comes in a rigid format that makes it easy to install on the greenhouse frame. Some polycarbonate is corrugated, while other products have to smooth other layers that encase an inner corrugated structure much like that of a cardboard box. Polycarbonate material allows up to 91% of the light into the greenhouse. Polycarbonate is impact resistant and durable, lasting up to 15 years. A disadvantage of polycarbonate is that its surface scratches easily. Microbial agents and agriculture. Nanocapsules can enable effective penetration of herbicides through cuticles and tissues, allowing a slow and constant release of the active substances. Viral capsids can be altered by mutagenesis to achieve different configurations and deliver specific nucleic acids, enzymes, or antimicrobial peptides acting against the parasites. Local administration of therapy Therapeutics by inhalation for treatment of lung diseases has the ability to deliver drugs, nucleic acids, and 
affected specifically to the site of the reaction and therefore inhale the efficacy of the treatment. Nanotechnology allows for a further enhancement of the treatment efficiency. The present review analyzes modern therapeutic approaches of inhaled nanoscale-based pharmaceutics for the direction and treatment of various lung diseases.